Brad should be excited to see us today. I don't think he's excited at all to see he us. He better be excited to see me. <laughs> I don't care if he's excited to see you. I like how we're dropping. I want him to be excited to see me. I like how we're dropping your boat off and picking up my boat. Well, mine should be ready in a month. Uh, a month and a half. Uh, yeah, a month and a half. I'm actually excited about this. Yeah, I'd say I was pretty excited about mine. Are you? Yeah. I, I'm a little worried about the colors. I always hate ordering but like colors because you really don't know. Uh, I think I like. I think I'm gonna be. I, I think it's gonna be all right. Like, yeah, I'm gonna like my colors. We're about to find out real quick because we're rolling in here right now. I see yours out there. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's white. Maybe that's his boat. <laughs> we got. <laughs> <laughs> is that his old? That that's the boat I've been. No, no that, ain't that is a sweet. Oh, that's the one he had in his. Uh, I, that's the one I liked. Oh uh, yeah, get all them boats out of the way, Fred. That's the one he had in the showroom. I'm gonna look at it real quick. That's the one I told him I liked for like a white boat. I was like, that's actually a pretty good looking boat. I think he sold that one. You think? Yeah. For an all white boat? That's actually pretty sweet. Yeah, it is. Tim or knows. Is it? No, but that's what Tim It's likes. what Tim likes, yeah. That's what Tim likes. That's exactly what Tim likes. Oh, I think that's that's not mine. Where, no, yours is over there. That's yours over there. Might be in the shop. Mine's probably on the showroom floor. I hope you don't hit your boat on the way out. Oh, on your feet. Huh? I think I'm going in here. I don't know. Is that it? Oh. I told him I was joking. I was like, I bet you mine's on the showroom floor, just like joking around. I'm surprised y'all are going to even let me drive off with this thing. Man, that thing, you finally got a good looking boat, Todd. <laughs> I like this one. Dude, I, it, like this one. I saw pictures of it. It looks, it does look better. It, it, I, I like it. Like, I, like, I like all the dark. Well, I was going to have, I, w I was thinking like, I was going to have this dark as well and just have this gray one underneath. Right. Now that I look at it, I, I can't, I think I like, I like what I. Man. You like what I did, Man, dude? I, 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 yeah, I kind of do. Yeah. Because I think I got this one lighter, and I don't, I don't want it lighter. I want it that. Where's Fred? Come on. What color? What color did you go with, Jason? He didn't know. I, I think I done this, but I think I went with um, the lighter. The lighter. And I like. Do with the black rims. I like that. <laughs> D? But I got yes, man. Because but I. What got about blue. the pinstripe? I got blue. I know you got because blue. I, got, I, li I like that blue pinstripe. I know. Blue's good. I'll, I'll That's say clean. I like this. I, I like this boat better than all your other ones that you've done colors on. You finally done. You listen, my one, my one, you my one like legend was good. My one legend was pretty was good, but it was like this. It was blacked out. Yeah, it still wasn't that good. No, this was better. I couldn't remember what I did with the seats. I'm telling you, you can't get in here with dirty feet. I'm not even getting in it. No, I'm talking about from here on out. Well, man. This is the one I was looking at at getting. Okay, that one. Which, the what? The mount. This is the deal I wanted to look and see if I was going to change anything. Look at this, what he did. Yeah, I know. It was pretty sweet. That's all huh? nice and clean looking. I give Fred props. He always makes it like he give he makes it look clean. It looks good. Don't don't start turning stuff, man. <laughs> I think you all like it right there. That's where yeah, that's where I know I am. Okay, I'm just That's where his like was. It. Okay, that's where his was. Yeah. And mine was on the side in what I <laughs> What I'll say is if you have it on the side, then you're like this. 
You're like, you're like, you got your head turned. Does that make sense? There ain't nothing. There ain't nothing in here. To the left. Oh, that's that new. Oh. Open that one up. That's that power pole charger. Ooh. Oh yeah. We're gonna get into all this stuff later. Well, what are you doing here? What are you doing with your batteries here? What do you mean? I don't know. Hadn't talked to Fred yet I about it. I guess one will go right there. Yeah. One of them will. Three there? I don't know. Yeah, three there. Three what there? Three Trojans. Oh, okay. I got you. There's enough room. To put one of the whatchamacallit. I think so, yes. Yeah, I think so too, man. I think so. We just got to talk to, we got to figure out this charging system. How oh, they blacked out the Skeeter. I like it. I know. No. It lightens up, right, with the gray. Yes, it does. Like the carpet and the gray and all that lightens up. And it'll be just a different, like, with that blue pinstripe. I think the pinstripe's going to make a big difference. Like, I don't, I don't, like the red would look good. The only problem with red is if you're gonna get a red, in my opinion, see how like they have that R is red? Yeah. Any, anytime you have a Yamaha, Yamaha did it. You gotta like, if, if it was me, you match the colors of that Yamaha with the color of your boat. Does that make sense? Like, like Yamaha has that kind of reddish orange. Mm -hmm. Don't you, if you make the pinstripe that same color, Fred. Wow. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Hey. What's up? Dude, this looks nice. Yeah. Turned out good. Like real good. So with the iLink system, you can actually pull off of this GPS heading sensor for the bow graph. And not the back one. And then just pull off of that external for your rear graph. It'll do it on its own? I've already got it set up, but it should. You okay. may have to go into network settings to set it up. That's what I was kind of hoping you brought all your graphs. But. I did bring graphs, just not the Garmin one. Okay. Uh, but we should be able to set that up. I was getting everything else ready. I did. That was the one thing I just didn't, I didn't, I wasn't thinking about that, to be honest with you. But it's the whole LinkedIn system, so you can do everything that trolling motor was designed to do. Is this what you asked for? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's what I ordered. Okay. Yep. That is nice. Yeah. I, I've never had one. So. They'll fade a little bit, but. It, no, it I ain't worried about that. It protects all your cords and everything a lot yeah. better. And especially it's with just the garment, cleaner because they don't want anything zip tied. I know they all want it taped. Yeah. Yeah. It makes it look a lot cleaner, too. We're all that clean, ain't we, Jason? We are. There you go. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you. I'm like. I even, I even that. like. Listen, it's no more what you're. I like this no too. More. The fact that they made this black. Yeah. I don't know if they did that on purpose. I think that's the way that uh, the plan is getting them because all the others I get it from TH Marine are all stainless steel, no black powder cover. So. So Skeeter did this. That's how. That's what Skeeter did. You think? Oh, okay. They weren't just trying to match the boat. <laughs> they just didn't do that just for you. Yeah, man. You never know. So it's that's a, a Skeeter? Down special, right? Yeah. So this is a Skeeter one? Mm -hmm. okay. That's what's coming on yours, too. Okay. I just noticed that silver part of the console. No, right where you're at. No, right here. On Pins. the console. Pins the, the silver. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just saying, look around. There's, there's nothing else. There's nothing. Okay, the front, front. The front. And then back of the transfer, too. Okay. I just, it's like when you get a new boat, man, it's just so hard to tell. Like, right. you really don't know how their color schemes. Yeah. Like, as soon as we walked in, I was like, ooh. Turned out good. Way better. Like, you showed me a picture, and I was oh. like, I liked it, but, man, it looks better now. What is that? <laughs> I'll have to it's a color. <laughs> it's a flake. It's something. It'll be fine. He just, he's worried to death now. You don't know what you did, do you? I know the dark part. I know one part is dark. I know that. You don't know what dark? No, I, I don't. It's dark. I don't know what that is, though. 
That one, I swear. What, what is this? What is this? Is, what kind of silver is that? You know, off the top of your head? The pins are a silver hologram. Yeah. The uh, darker gray is. Um, like gunmetal? Gunmetal. And then the black is what? The black is. The black's the black silver. So it's not the black. There's black silver. I know that's not the name. I believe it's black galaxy. Is the yeah. Okay, so it's. The, I'm sure they make a black with different red, they, blue, all the different kind of flakes well, in it. They correct. Make a black too that has a lot more silver metal flake, but it almost turns into gray. Okay. And that's why we want this. To get no, no, no. I like like. But see, in the light though, I see, and that might just be the way that color hits from everywhere else. Mm -hmm. You see, it's not all silver. It looks. There's a little bit of different flake in there. there is okay i like it it's the led lights i understand right but it regardless you're still gonna see, you're gonna get some of that stuff out on the you're gonna get reflections from colors yeah. to make it look like that and i couldn't remember what we did with the seats the seats are darker than i thought which but they're not black. like i like them the one thing about the material that skeeter uses it's not hot breeze a lot better uh -huh. so they're not as hot and that's one thing I really like. I like I like simple seats to a degree. I don't like too crazy. It, then it looks like his. You got to see the colors on his seats. Oh my gosh! I have no idea what they are. <laughs> I don't know. A lot like, of pinks, a lot of purples. <laughs> They're probably gonna turn out like that. <laughs> Whose white boat is that out there? I know that was in here. That was right sitting right there. That thing's clean though. I know you said you don't. It's clean for a white boat. I know you like that one better, don't you? I do because it's got a little bit more metal flake in it. Yeah, that white one's of I'm different. Old. I know that one. Well, that white one's clean though. I know. That for a white boat out there, that one looks really. If you like white, like that's yeah. the way to go. Some guys do. Like I get it. Yeah. Solid colors been popular. That one, Scott's got that that blue. Has he gotten his? No, he's got that, lone, like whatever it was, and it's like a, it, but it's a different, it's it's the FX colors. Yes. What's the ones that they only make for one? He told me that they only make it in one, limited edition, and it has to be all one, it's like. You've got like eight different color packages. Jesus. But it's almost the whole thing is that one color, the whole boat. Yeah. He's got like this midnight, I wouldn't even call it a midnight blue, but it's a dark, dark, dark blue. That's a Nashville blue. And it's, the whole boat's like that, and it looks pretty, like I could see doing one like that. But they only make them for certain styles of boats, I thought. I don't think you can make, you like you couldn't get this in that boat. We can get it close. We can color it awful close. Right, but yeah, I don't think the Not pack, exactly. correct. Because they like the whole integrity. Correct. Yeah. Hey, so like, so my question is this, it's all done. And that was my mistake. Like I didn't go, I can fit another one right there. Oh yeah. You can fit another one there. And I left enough room here in case you wanted a, another one here for electronics. On. We're going to figure out what that thing does. Yes. Okay. I know if I put one here, mm -hmm. how hard is it for me? And I can come back up here. Like, how hard is it to install a Perco switch? It's not that hard. That doesn't sound... Um, What's the issues? Do I come right off this? What you'll do is you'll take that main hot uh -huh. and run it to the Perco. And then you'll come out with two other hots going to your two different series. And then what, like I did on last year's boat... I got a solid post for your ground and I tied your ground to it and then came off with two separate grounds going to the two separate systems. So you got a common ground and then all your hots are going to the park seat. So, so it, it's a little bit of... Yeah, not much, it ain't. It's not that hard. It's not that hard, but like installing, just get if... if you say, want to go put your Perco switch though on that sidewall right, right here. So you have something to screw into so you don't screw into your boxes. Okay. But I come off of this it, one. It beats running leads over the back bed. Yeah, but it come, it's better than this, right? I mean, I come off this. Do I, see, do I come off this? What I will do is I will, the lead that normally goes to the battery, 
I take it to the perco switch. And then the perco will go to that. Correct. Correct. Okay. And then you got your hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I honestly thought it was the other way around. Nope. Hello? Man, just looking at this jack plate over here, seeing if it's going to work right. Any of this TH Marine product on this boat? Well, I I can honestly say it's not user error because I'm literally picking up my boat. We, Me and Jason just got here and we're literally picking up my boat. Like you're on video right now. And like it's sitting in the showroom floor. It has not been, it, it is literally like we just got here 10 minutes ago. Is that bass boat? The only thing I didn't like is that silver thing. This is different. The Rangers... Okay, so I guess what had happened was is the console covered up so much more of it. Like, see, I, I couldn't even get to this these knobs. Well, now these knobs are all wide open to get to. But when I got like the way it's set up on the Ranger, it it you couldn't get your hand down in there. You could like you see how I can take it off. No, 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 no. But look, I can get to them. Yeah. I could not get like you would have to. I could never get down in here, or I have to, like it was. Oh, it was a nightmare, and that's why that's the only reason I didn't like them. But this is fun. I mean, I can get right to them and, and, and yeah, do that. That's, that's the same setup I had on my boat. Yeah, but it's a Skeeter. See, that's what I'm saying is that like every boat's different. So if, if the boat's set up different. I mean, my boat's the same as this one. But, you're, but I'm talking about Ranger. See, uh, the Ranger console was different, so I couldn't get to them. Yeah. So now it's not a, like the one thing I had a problem with them, it's not a problem anymore. Yeah. Because the whole problem was not being able to get to the back of the, my units because of that because of this. Well, now that's not. This is all set up different. So now it's not the issue I had is not an issue anymore. The only thing we'll have to play with to see to see if we need to or not. It's better without the cover. Is the steering wheel position? If we need to, we can order a ton of spacer. And get the no, I know that's always going to be an issue. So we can do that. I saw that on uh, mine was always good, like just hitting it. Yeah. That is what I call it. Oh, Yankee, I love it. Yankee anchor ring. You don't like it? I never tie up to a dock. I beach my boats. Oh, we, we don't have that option sometimes. Yeah. Some places we go, you never know. I was like, oh man, I was going to say I don't miss something like that. <laughs> no, it's better because a lot of times, like, so we'll, we'll wrap it around the steering wheel, but I, I, I like that better. Cause you never really have anything to, to do it right there. And we're lazy. Like we're not those guys doing the front <laughs> and the side. What's that? That's your uh, drawing pen. Okay. It's like, you don't know anything about boats, Jason. Hey, I'm just. I don't know either. I'm listening. Well, you should listen to it. Cause you don't know. You can call him Fred out there on the water. Hey. Oh, hey, Fred's used to that now. He's had mine for so long. Yeah, I'm he pretty good at it. Run. What's this little awesome. blue light that just came on? Huh? Oh man, what's that little blue light that just came on? Your uh, USB charger port. You ain't never had one. Hey, how you can, yeah, it did. Oh. It just never worked on the Ranger. Hey, because it, it was smart enough, they put it under the elements out of the elements. You got another one in that day box over there. Oh really? Yeah, I think it's USB. It might be just regular. No, it's it's. It's USB. Man, I was kind of excited, man. Uh, you have speakers in your boat. I had a radio put in. You didn't want one. Was it free? No. I didn't know if it was come, if it came, whatever. Well, it's not really a radio. It just connects to your Bluetooth. It's AM, FM, Bluetooth. It was nice. Oh, you listened to you? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. We'd be rigging up and stuff. Yeah. And they're like, hey, man. I'm like, I got it. And I just, I just hook it up right there. And I just blared it out for everyone. It was actually pretty nice. Like really, yeah, it was pretty nice. I ain't had one on any of my boats. I'm not gonna listen to it much, on, but it was all like it was. It would be funny though, too. Though I, I gotta tell you this is that like you might be driving, yeah. and if you came back here like before a tournament and turned everything on, ready to launch, yeah, and it would connect, yeah. and all of a sudden your like boat starts playing and everyone would be looking at you because they'd like be blaring out music, and the thing was loud and oh, sounded yeah. good. It wasn't that loud outside of the boat but dude you sat in the boat and it was like three times difference yeah. like it like it was all in the boat it's that's actually it. pretty good i was actually excited about it people like other people did they get a lot of radios did they well like the them? le package automatically comes with it mm -hmm. see that's what i didn't yeah the le package automatically comes with it 
but the selects like we were up that you build from scratch. I probably would have had to say something. Yeah. I just didn't know. I wasn't that yeah, worried about had it. One before, so was I've had one. Oh, have you? I'd had one in a and 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 we used it, but then it went out a bunch, and it had its own little deal. But the, the Bluetooth now is different. Like so, when it just comes to your phone, yeah. and with that like. It sat over here and it got wet and it stopped work. I, I didn't see that Bluetooth ever messing up. It is a different deal. Can you add one? We're too late on there. <laughs> We're too far in the process. Really? Yeah. We ain't fishing out of it all year. Huh? We ain't fishing out of it all year. Yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. The bad part is they're going to know it doesn't matter. It's going to be your boat or my boat. And it's going to look so alike. They're still going to know who we are. They won't know for a while. One short, one stop. <laughs> yeah. It will blend in though. This float will be like it won't stick out. It won't matter, dude. Not the way those vultures. They Where were talking about us on. Right they were talking about us on Rayburn in the rain. Like I couldn't even see the other boats, and they were we could hear them at the boat yeah, ramp talking the about it. They didn't even know we were over there. God and Jason, they've been running all over the place. We seen them all day. Oh. We were like, we were like a thousand <laughs> yards, yeah, we and I was like, all, Jason man. goes. They just talk about us. I'm like, yeah. They didn't even know we were over there. It must be tough. <laughs> well, none of them waited in because they yeah they on the trainer 45 minutes early or 30 minutes. Yeah, we we called we called we were scared to death that like we were supposed to stop. Yeah, we we had me and him have a said, bad. Hey, look up the. I said I ain't got no service. I said look on the internet. I said you gotta look up the rules and see when to stop fishing is. We just stopped fishing because that's how many people went to the boat ramp I at tried. the same time, like that's 30 minutes time. early. Yeah. It was pretty simple. I'll be. Uh, I will say, Skeeter makes it simple. Yeah, it's just like in your Ranger. Oh, okay. You turn on your recirculating pumps. That's the only thing. Because on your live well valves, you only have a two position instead of three. Oh, instead of three, so in so and out. You, so you use the pump system because you've got fill pumps yes, and sir. you've got recirculating pumps. So okay. you switch to your recirc pumps, go back there, pull that red nozzle, just like on your Ranger. Mine, I don't have to pull a nozzle to pump. I, I, I think Did it's... we get you the remote? No, no, his. Because they have. You still have to pump out. Pump you still out. have to pull on that to pump out. No, I don't. Do you have a switch? Yes. Yeah, he got the remote pump out. Mm -hmm. I like that. Because he likes things that break. Mine, knock on wood, it didn't break. No. Come on, we got a month and a half. Everybody's talking now because of the Mercury's. Performance-wise, Mercury's got a little bit of an edge on that Yamaha. So there's all this buzz about, well, Yamaha's going to do something. Yamaha's going to, I hope it don't. Yeah, just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Because it's dependable. It. Yeah. That's why people care. I say. You should, yeah, until boat, until like, you get those guys. The, I'm telling you, I'm always the first, the first time someone asks me how fast I go, I could care less about what their opinion is. I got two miles an hour faster. I'm like, okay, well, I just want to get, I just I want, I just want to have it, yeah, I just want to go a year without having to work on it. Yeah. That's good. That's, That's good. I don't care if it goes 100. Yeah. Well, I don't want it to go 50, but I mean, right. if you're talking two mile an hour difference, I care less. Because it really, it's about the boat at that point in time. Well, we just got home and I'd forgotten some stuff. I'd forgotten my other unit. So I went and put the other unit on there. So now I got two units up front. Uh, and now I'm about to go get my other hummingbird, hook it up. Batteries. So everything's still not done. I mean, I'm just kind of putting on the finishing touches. And one of the finishing touches is I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with batteries. Um, I've always done a different system than anyone else I know. And everything might change with the new power pole charge. And I'll explain that. I'll kind of explain and go over my battery systems and what I've had and explain why I do them. But this new power pole charge, this might kind of alleviate some of the things I've done. I, I really think that 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 system is going to change how I do things. I, I've only got two, two uh, 36 volts in there now. 
I got a place for a third one. Normally, I have three Trojans back there and I have backup systems and I've only got one battery on that side. I think what I'm gonna do is bite the bullet, get a third lithium, put another battery over there and that'll be for my units and everything. I wanna see how this power pole system, I wanna see kind of like what happens when I go fishing and I have everything out there and I'm using up batteries and I'm hard on the troll motor. I wanna see how many much percentage I have left in these batteries before I, before I do this. I wanna see how good that thing works. I have a feeling it's gonna work and it's gonna make my life a lot easier. And, um, uh, but I'll explain that. I might do a whole video on that because I think these batteries, um, for me at least, now no one else in the country might have this issue, but I can go through batteries. I'm just telling you the way, the way I sit on the trolling motor and I, I don't want to hear from everyone about how this batteries can do it. Listen, there's only one way to judge batteries guys. And it's putting it on high, stepping on it. And stepping on it for 12 hours if batteries can last for 12 hours on 100 then that's i've yet to find batteries ever that'll do that guys I'll, I'll be honest with you i know everyone's like all oh, these batteries can do this and these batteries can do that until you tell me that until someone says hey i didn't go fishing in a day i don't care about someone going fishing in a day the only way to test batteries is this put it on high stand on it for 12 hours if it can do that on high for 12 hours those are batteries. I don't think anyone tests batteries that way. They test them on a day on the water. That to me is not the same. That's what I'm kind of waiting on. I want to see what I can do with these batteries. I'll, I'll be a pretty good judge. Anyone that's ever fished with me or knows how I fish or sight fishes or anything, they'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, if they just talk about going out there and fishing in a day, like, Hey, I used them hard. I don't care about that. So that's where I'm at with that. I don't have the battery systems just yet. I want to see what that system, that power pole system can do. I want to see what happens when I run all four graphs. I want to see what happens when I never start my boat for six hours. Um, I want to see all those things. I'm going to, I'll get out there the first day and turn my aerators on and turn everything on and just try to, uh, what I try to do is I'm trying to be as rough and hard on it as possible. So I know what's right and what's wrong, but now I'm gonna start putting some stuff in here, some life jackets, everything else, because I'm gonna go probably break it in in the next day. That's right, guys, I'm going back to my roots with the show, the Yamaha. I heard nothing but great things. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about this boat, guys, I really am. Like, man, I think, I've never said this, but I think it's the prettiest boat I've had. Um, dude, it's slick. Like it's clean. It's real clean. I didn't know what to think about them colors at first, man. What I'm probably gonna do is, this is my video of this, and then when I get all the batteries done, I'm gonna kind of show y'all how I, not necessarily rig it out, but what this boat has to offer. Like the rod boxes and putting tackle in it, and, and it's all the little things. It's little stuff, and y'all might, you know, when you buy something like this, there's always these little things that make life easier. I'm gonna show you the little stuff that makes life easier with this boat. When it comes to the trailer, when it comes to the steps, I mean, covers, all of it. Working in the back, like how much room you have back here to work with everything, to get to everything. Uh, Fred, Fred at Diamond Sports. I did, I just don't know where I'd be without Fred. I mean, the way he makes this thing look clean on wiring it up, is is something to be proud of so we're gonna go through all of that probably in the next video i'm gonna try hopefully have it all rigged out and ready to go so stay tuned for that one guys skeeter fxr let's go let's go get her done <laughs>